Good day grade 9 learners and welcome to Tumamina Teaching. You are tuned into your third lesson of EMS Financial Literacy. Today we will revise debtors, the general ledger and the debtors ledger. Remember grade 9s, this is all revision. Let's see if you can still remember. Okay, so grade 9s, for this lesson, it will require a lot of preparation from you. Please ensure that you have all your answer books for your debtors list, general ledger and debtors ledger. You can get this from your teacher or if you're watching this at home, please head down to the description below and print the templates that are provided in the links. Okay, so for this lesson, we'll be looking at the information given for Ikasi Kofu Company. You will then post these journals to the following accounts in the general ledger. We'll be focusing on the trading stock and debtors control. You will also post the accounts of D. Dahlia and R. Rose in the debtors ledger. And then finally, you will prepare a debtors list on 31st of May, 2022. Are you up for this task? I hope so. You got this. Okay, grade nines, so this is a loaded lesson. So let's take it bit by bit. We always have to start with the balances on the first day of the month. Let's do these balances or totals together. We will first record the trading stock balance in the general ledger. This will be recorded on the debit side of the general ledger as a trading stock is an asset and assets increase on the debit side. Therefore, the 22,800 rand should be recorded on the debit side. Next is the debtor's control balance. Debtor's control is also an asset, so it will increase on the debit side and decrease on the credit side. This means that the balance should be recorded on the debit side. Okay, so now we've done the balances for the general ledger. Now let's look at the debtor's ledger. So in this case, we'll be dealing with two debtors, that's R. Rose and D. Dahlia. First up is the debtor R. Rose and she owes us 3,900 Rand in the beginning of May. And the last balance will be D. Dahlia and she owes us 2,800 Rand. Okay, grade 9 learners, I think I've helped you enough. Now it's time for you to get busy. Let's get the journals on the screen behind me. If you are in class, Ask your teacher for any assistance where needed, but if you're watching this at home and you need assistance, please revisit the lessons in term 2. Pause this video and see how quickly you can record these journals to the general ledger and the debtors ledger. Now remember grade 9 learners, we will also be recording these journals on the debtors list later. Right, let's start marking. We will start with the general ledger, specifically looking at the trading stock account. Now remember grade nines, so we've already done the balances together, so it's already recorded. Okay, so in this exercise, there are two types of sales. Trading stock sold on credit and trading stock sold by cash. All right, so it doesn't matter which one we start with, but let's look at the trading stock sold on credit first. And this we will of course find in the DJ, the debtors journal. Remember the cost of sales and trading stock works hand in hand, which means trading stock decreases. You will also remember that trading stock decreases on the credit side. Remember our acronym DAL LIC. Then we'll have to record the cost of sales of the cash transactions. This will of course also be on the credit side as trading stock left the business. And remember to balance the trading stock account at the end.
Okay, well done. So the next account we'll be looking at is debtors control. Remember, we have already recorded the balance at the beginning of the month. When debtors buy on credit, this increases on the debit side of the debtors control T account as debtors control increases. This amount of 22,350 will be found in the debtors journal or the DJ. Now remember grade nines, at some point our debtors need to pay us back what they owe the business, right? So at this point, this will be recorded on the credit side of the T account. Oh, this is because the debt that they owe us decreases and should be recorded on the credit side. Thus, the 14,300 Rand will be found in the CRJ, the Cash Receipts Journal. Now remember, as with any tier account, remember to balance the account at the end of the month. Great, good job. So you have successfully recorded the two accounts. Now let's look at the debtor's ledger. We'll first be looking at our rows. The balance was already recorded in the first part of this lesson. Now let's look specifically at the transactions regarding our rows. On the 15th, our rows bought goods on credit from us and on the 30th, they paid a part of their credit. These two transactions should be recorded in R. Rose's debtor's ledger in chronological order. Did you get this one right? Nice job. Remember, if you're still struggling, please visit lesson four of term two, for in this lesson, we're looking at a holistic view of previous works we have already done. We will thus not go into so much detail in this lesson. The last data is D Dahlia. We have already recorded the balance for this data. We have three transactions that affect D Dahlia. Let's have a look at them in the debtor's ledger in chronological order. Did you get this one right? If you did, well done. Let's look at the last part of this lesson. We will be looking at the debtors list. The debtors list is a summary of all the money that is owed by debtors to IKC, Ikasi Kofu Company. Let's look at our rows as an example. The debtor's control amount of 14,750 will be the total amount that debtors owe IKC. Well done, grade nines. This lesson was very intense, but luckily it was all revision. See you next time for our final lesson for grade nine EMS financial literacy. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.